Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go into the Etsy folder and I want to edit my uh, resolve.conf file. Alright, so resolve.conf. And notice that this is what Network Manager added, my gateway, but I don't want that. What I want to do instead is add the IP address of my DNS server, so Pegasus. It's going to use itself. And then there's one more thing I want to do to specify who's authoritative for resolving host names in this zone. And I'm going to add search, and it's going to be ultimate and battlestars.com and add the, a period after that or a suffix. And this is equivalent to adding what's called a DNS suffix. Uh, as a matter of fact, in Microsoft, if you look in Windows 7 or Vista or XP, there's a DNS suffix option. And that's what we'll have to add, again, to our, our Windows client to get it to use uh, bind, the, bind DNS server properly. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Um, yes, and hit enter. And with these config files complete now, I just need to do um, you know, a few more things. So of course, whenever we modify any configuration files, we always need to restart something. So you know, our daemon here, the bind nine daemon. So Etsy, remember all those sim links and initd? And I'm going to want to go to bind nine and pass in the command line option to restart it. Okay, and it looks like everything went okay um, as far as bind restarting. Now there's a couple of tools I can use, but I want to probe or test this. I may have a syntax error somewhere. There could be a bug. Could be something going on in, in my DNS configuration. So I'm going to try NS lookup. And by the way, the same tools in Microsoft in Active Directory. Um, NS lookup, and I want to do. Um, let me try Pegasus. Okay. And notice that I'm able to resolve. You know, the, in other words, this DNS server, this bind server, is authoritative for UltimateBattleStars.com. And it's mapped to the red IP. There's Pegasus 199.207.13.100. And I want to do NS lookup, and I'm going to test uh, Galactica. And again, notice it's authoritative for Galactica. And whereas Pegasus was 100, Galactica is 110. And I can't really ping it yet because I haven't. I have to go configure the clients now. I haven't set them up yet. We've just set up the server. Um, but I can test it with NS lookup. And then later, I could, you know, I would ping it by host name and, and try to do resolution that way. So NS lookup, and let me try this for Germany XP. Okay, and then there's Germany XP 1092073115. So at this point, my DNS server is working properly, and I've taken all the steps I need to now I can go set up my clients and get them to use my DNS server. The only other thing I want to do is test my forwarders. So something outside my domain, let's say I want to ping www.yahoo.com. Yahoo! Okay, now this will verify that my forwarders are working those IPs, and so I can go out my excessive number of, of forwarding IPs that I added, of course, um, because it's how we roll. But in this case, um, you know, that way I know too that forwarding is working on my DNS server setup. And again, we'll go try to ping Google. Took a few seconds there, but you know, there's Google coming up too. So forwarding's working. I know my DNS server's working. That was the hard part, or at least that was the more involved part. Setting up the clients is easy, and we'll do that next. Now we're on the Galactica, and we want to configure the Galactica to be a client of uh, the Pegasus, our Bind9 DNS server. So we kind of zoom in here again so you can see what I'm typing, hopefully. And again, remember by default on any installation of Ubuntu, um, DHCP is going to kind of be the default setup. If you just click Next and go with the default, so 1092.7.13.15, that's fine for DHCP. And actually, later when we set up a DHCP server, that'll still be okay. But for now, I'm going to configure this as a static uh, address in this particular situation just to get it to, you know, to kind of demonstrate it using the bind 9 DNS server. And the problem with leaving it on DHCP for now is it's set up. If I cat etc resolve.conf, notice it's set up to use um, 
you know, the name server here, 192.0.7.13.1, that's the dynamic DNS on the router. That's not the DNS um, that exists on our bind 9 server Pegasus. So if I were to try to, in other words, if I were to try to resolve a host name, ping Pegasus. Now it found somebody out there on the internet, 208.68.143.55 named Pegasus. But that's not, that's not our Pegasus. Our Pegasus is 199.207. 13100. So again, it's not the right DNS server. And we could try, I could try configuring that. Let's see, sudo um, nano etc.resolve.conf. But if I do this and I change this, remember that as soon as I reboot, since Network Manager is installed, Network Manager will kind of override that and put its own settings back in there dynamically. So I'm going to have to uninstall Network Manager at this point until um, you know I have a, an Ubuntu DHCP server set up configured with our own settings. But again, I want to specify search ultimate battle stars, and I'm going to do .com and postfix that with a period. Control X, Y, Enter to save, and I'm going to go and clear this up here. And now notice it finds Pegasus Ultimate Battlestars.com, the RAT IP address, because the Pegasus Bind 9 DNS server is authoritative for the domain or the zone Ultimate Battlestars.com. So 1092071300. Now we're getting some replies back here. Albeit slow replies over the wireless connection. On a Windows XP Professional um, client now, and again, if I do IP config, um, which is Microsoft's version of if config all, notice my my settings here. In this case, my host name is Germany XP. Um, you know, IP address 192.0.7.15.16. This I got from you know the DHCP server on the router, and then here's my DNS server setting. Again, it's the gateway or the router address. Again, my host name, Germany XP. With these settings, were I to try to ping Galactica, doesn't know a DNS uh, server that's authoritative, it doesn't even really know about ultimatebattlestars.com yet. So, can't ping Galactica and I can't really ping Pegasus. If I do either one of those. So, what I'm going to do is, again, to match the configuration settings that we set up on our bind DNS server, I'm going to go here in properties and I'm going to go to TCP IP and I'm going to specify 199.207.13 and 115 was the address we specified. The default subnet mask and 199.207.13.1 was the gateway and 199.207.13.100 was the DNS server that we set up. And then the only other thing I want to do is I want to click on the advanced tab go to DNS and I need to add the DNS suffix. Remember in the resolve.comp file on Linux Ubuntu where we said uh, we added the line search space uh, ultimate battlestars.com period. Well this is Windows version of that, the DNS suffix. And so I need to say ultimate battlestars.com. Alright. So same thing that I put in the resolve.com file in Windows 7 or Windows XP or Vista I would put it here. And notice the, the hourglass there. Windows XP is doing the same thing that Linux Ubuntu does. It has to restart some of its networking services whenever there's a configuration change, such as what we just did. So now with these new changes, if I hit the up arrow, just like in Linux, I can do IP config all. Notice it reflects my new changes. Now my new DNS server is 192.7.13.100 or Pegasus. And my new IP is a statically configured one. DHCP is, is you know, no longer affecting this machine. So, um, if I were to test it, let's ping the Galactica, okay? And notice I get four echo replies. In this case, now it knows a DNS server that's authoritative for the domain ultimatebattlestars.com, and it sees 199.207.13.110 on the ping. And let's say that I also want to ping the Pegasus. And again, I get four echo replies. It sees the bind 9 DNS server responsible for ultimatebattlestars.com and pings 109.207.13.100. 
And again, let's test the forwarder, um, something not in our domain, so yahoo.com. And now, I get, again, for echo replies, notice that Linux kind of flood pings by default, and Windows will just do four by default. But you, So anyway, we've tested connectivity between a Windows client and a Linux client with a Bind9 Ubuntu DNS server.